community service has a very large impact um, on my business. It's very recognizable. People see that I care about the community and that I like to give back. I do a lot of fundraising. I am vice president now of the Seroptimist uh, International Chapter of Yuma. We raise money for Safe House, which is Yuma's domestic violence shelter. With that organization, I've been really able to really get into the heart of this community. Our community is very giving. It's very family orientated. I did a customer referral event this year and it was incredible. I recommend it to anyone. Our customers were so impressed just to be invited to go to a movie, to have popcorn. No one has done that for them before. So it was just kind of a way of, of giving back to them again and, and saying, you know what, we really, really do appreciate you and it meant the world to them. A customer about three, four months ago. Which vehicle do you drive primarily, Catherine? I attempted to sell her motor club and she did not want to spend the money for motor club. Well, she broke down an I-40. She calls me up and says, I've broken down. Could you come and help me? Found her on I-40. Uh, sat with her in her car and we waited till a tow truck came. As I was leaving her car, I said, now you need to come back to my office and we need to take a look at that motor club because this all would have been prevented if you had the motor club. She smiled and she did purchase the motor club. The concept of the good hands truly comes through there. The customers have been able to bond with me because they know that, that I'm family. I took over the, the office of my uncle Robin Robin Yap was an agent for Allstate since 1997. Back in 2007, he had a stroke, which instantly took his life. A lot of his customers, who he managed to build relationships with, they were shocked that at such a young age, at 56, that he had an aneurysm. And so it's really important that people know that life is short, and we make that a point at our agency to, to sell life insurance, because without life insurance, Families don't have that peace of mind of knowing that they're going to be taken care of. With my uncle's death, we took over the business and 12 days later I had my son, Caden. Over the last two years, we've been able to grow that book of business during these tough economic times. We did hit the ground running. A majority of my customers are in the Chinese community, speaking either Mandarin or Cantonese. A lot of them don't speak English, and so myself and my staff were equipped to kind of guide them through claims process, understanding their policy, and um, the day-to-day -day, uh, insurance needs that they have. 